Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. Today I wanted to show you something really simple. We've got a weed eater here and all the string is broke on it. So I want to walk you through how to rewind your weed eater string. I know this is a challenge to some people and I'll show you the way I do it and see if it might help you out. So come along today. We're going to teach you how to rewind the string on your weed eater when it breaks. All right? Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. So folks, let's talk about the weed eater that we're using here. This is this awesome airplane. So folks, we're out on the farm and on the farm here we have about a 200 acre farm and I have to go probably four times a year and do a lot of weed eating. We're talking about six hours of weed eating. The weed eater that I'm using right here is this steel model. It's a steel model FS90R. Now it's a prosumer grade I would say a prosumer grade meaning it's a good all-around weed whacker or trimmer or string trimmer or weed eater or whatever you want to call it it's a good all-around machine for that it's not a true heavy heavy duty commercial machine but it really really gets the job done so if you've got some acreage that's a great machine you can go online to steel.com and find the local stores that carry these steel products are something that i do believe in and i don't get paid to tell you that i just really like this stuff so this is our head and this is our trimmer head and basically I've taken the guard off because I run string on it about that long outside the head versus about this long because I've got a lot of grass to clip with it okay so we get around next to our ponds and stuff like that so let's go ahead and we'll get this guy apart this is going to give you a basic overview of how to wind your string trimmer okay so this is not going to be specific to each kind you're going to have to do a little bit of finagling and figure out how to take yours apart and everything like that but this will give you a basic overview of the best way that I found to rewind your string trimmer and make it last and make it work. A lot of times folks will put these things together, they'll put the string in, about halfway through it just kind of just kind of explodes. We'll take you into a little detail of how it works for me and an effective way to rewind your string. Now as I said each model is going to be a little bit different. This still has two little areas you depress. So you depress here and you depress here and that releases your string holder. Okay, comes out just like that. And you can see all the goodies are out of it. This thing is spring loaded, okay? So when I push down in here, it engages it to release more string. So here is the reel that we're gonna be using. And you can see down in that reel, it's indexed. You can see where you stick your line down in there, okay? I'll show you that. Now while you've got it apart, you can see a little bit of trash in there. Just knock that trash out get rid of that try and eliminate anything that can cause you mechanical problems while you're working on this thing all right we've already said this is a still model trimmer basically there's a little depressed area here and a little depressed area on the other side you mash that down now if you're working with a different type of string trimmer just take your phone and take snapshots as you disassemble it so that you know how to put it back together very simple there's only two pieces in here one of them is spring loaded so if you see when I depress here and I depress here it just pops out okay and then out comes the whole assembly and right there it is there's a little spring down in there and that helps to provide positive pressure on here and when we get ready to pull more string out i'll show you how that works but this is basically just a button to push and it releases more string and this is a retaining ring okay now you can see inside here there are several little holes right there see that little hole and that's where we're going to put our string in we're going to start at the same hole for each one okay so we're going to start in the same little hole for each one of these and we're going to go the opposite way of what you would think and i'll show you what i mean by that so we take our string hopefully this is in focus here so we take our string and we slide it in to our little hole here and then we wrap backwards on itself and basically you just take and you wrap your string neatly and tightly all the way around until you fill the entire cartridge here okay so just continue to fill it wrap it all the way around just keep wrapping nice and snug nice and tight you don't want to be too tight you don't want to pull it in there on top of itself so it makes it hard for it to come back out but you want to just wrap it on nice and snug nice and tight and when you get done you get down to the end i'll show you what we do guys this is the point where i say click that thumbs up there click that like button let me know what you're thinking leave me a comment if you know some good string trim line that people could use in their string trimmer the best line that you can use post a comment down there and tell the rest of the folks that are watching you know what your favorite string trimmer line is 
Okay, so when we get done, we're just going to drop it in that little hole right there. It's like a notch and we're going to cut it snip snip right there. All right, this is an essential tool that I keep around all the time. It's called the Gerber center drive. I always like to have a nice little multi tool with me so that I can use it for doing stuff like this. Onward and upward to the next one. Okay, so we want to make sure that we do both of them in the same direction and we're going to stick it right in that little slot again, slide it right in the hole and then wrap it back on itself and then continue to wrap all the way until you get it full Whoop. and it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do this and that's why i'm doing the video on it so that maybe you can get a little technique from me that might help you out take your take your string trim and just set it down and then just work it out okay nice and snug nice and tight you don't want it twisted you don't want to make a mess you just want to do a good job nice and snug here nice and even so as you're wrapping you want to keep it nice and even right in here okay so don't wrap a big pile on the right side and none on the left side because that's going to cause it to get hung up so just kind of wrap it around like you'd like a roll of rope so it comes off nice and easy okay and this package of string trim was uh, designed basically just to fill one entire roll so when we run to the end which we're almost there we're done now this one is on one side and this one is going to be on the other side just like that okay now i've got my retaining ring to go back on there and i'm going to stick it right underneath there and i'm going to take my roll and stick it back into the string trimmer okay but i want to pay careful attention to where these are and i want to line them up with the notches on the string trimmer okay pretty simple okay we'll line that up with that notch and drop him in and sometimes this is the tricky part okay especially tricky to film it <laughs> all right line that guy up right there for the sake of showing you I have it upside down from the way I would normally have it I would normally have it flipped over but I want to show you what we're doing here so we'll pull our next string and we'll pull it through the slot on this side Okay, just like that and then we'll hold it in place we'll get our retaining ring and we'll slip our retaining ring right back on here just like so nice and simple clipped into place we'll double check make sure it's secure give her a good tug and the way this steel trimmer works is you push this little button and give it a little tug okay push the button and give it a little tug now the first time it might be a little difficult as you can see that one's kind of hung up right there so that's where my Gerber multi-tool comes into play. So I'll pinch it right on the end here, give it a little tug, and make sure that it falls into place. There we go. So a problem you might run into to troubleshoot here, you may run into it getting crossed up a little bit. And I think this got a little bit crossed up. Yep, yep, it's still hung on the end piece here. So we'll slide it back apart, nice and gentle. And we'll pull it back tight. This isn't rocket science guys but it can seem like rocket science at times so we'll just wrap our string nice and tight in here drop it into the slot again and then push our retaining clip in so if it gets a little bit tight you can always remove that retaining clip and replace it just like that and make sure we're nice and right push the button make sure both of them pull nice and even and that's it Good to go. Well guys, we're about ready to use our string trimmer. So everything looks good. I think we're ready to get to work. I hope this helped you a whole lot. Please don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here on the farm. We're on a 200 acre farm here. So lots of work, lots of projects, and lots of how-to stuff like this. So come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell and it'll notify you when I post a new video. And we're going to go get to work. Have some fun weed eating. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your